Here's what's happened so far. Our hero and Eric have made it to Cobblestone undetected by the troops tracking them. Upon arriving, Sharon sees what he thinks is his home village in the present, but soon finds out that in fact has been sent to the past. He returns to his own time to find something truly terrible. His beloved home village torn to pieces by the Heliodorian army. With a heavy heart, he turns his back on the ruins of his home and focuses on following Chalky's instructions. He heads off to find the triangular stone at Cobblestone Falls. Hey there everybody, it's Heroic Legend here. Yeah, I remember this is where I left off. Doesn't make me any less sad. It does not. The blow is still just as hearty. And this wandering priest still looks very husky. So, yeah. So, so letting that settle in. But honestly, like, what was I expecting? It's it, it's Dragon Quest. It's Square. Um, for just in case you were curious, they're the level ups. I did say I was gonna level up a bit. Uh, right now, we're rocking the plus three bronze, plus two scale shield, plus three scale armor, gemless charm, the Templar's uniform plus three, the boomerang, got some mini medals and perfectionist pearls, got a nice amount of cash, I'm pretty sure I could, oh, pardon me, that could easily be gotten rid of with a, few, with a quick visit to any shop. I know evac as well as heal now. You know, I've been thinking. Listen, I know it's tough, but we can't just hang around here. What if Granddad so if what your granddad said was right, then we need to head to east. <sighs> I mean if the tree showed you the stuff from the past, I guess it must be pretty important, right? Go and check out whatever your granddad wanted you to find. I agree, Eric. We're gonna go explore the village as best we can, but Oh jeez. I re There's a spear in here. I wonder if he left that treasure that treasure chest uh, unopened if they would have destroyed it. Like opened it themselves. Like, I, I really don't know if people escaped in time, or really why they would do this though, still, like, that that's always been a, a rough spot for me. You know, the, the ultimate evil was raised and or born here, but it's been prophesied that it's supposed to be raised and or born. That doesn't make the people evil, that just makes the evil evil. You know, and again, sometimes just people turn out to be really scummy. It's not a, it's not the home's fault. Ah, oh, thank you, uh, PlayStation, for informing me of this. You know, like, I, I honestly would have been like, you know, how do we know, we should examine all the villagers and be like, eh. I don't know, after I am set to this Just King thing, I, I can't help but be like, y'all is just jerks. I can look at the bed. Toronto beds look comfortable enough to lie down for a rest. Yeah, but that's not going to cause any problems for Sharon's poor, poor heart. Really think about it, you know. And quite a few shows like to do this as well. 
Did I have to go... You know, oh, you were born here? Well, then that means... That place is bad because you're bad. And again, that's all in the notion that we were bad to begin with. Ah, there it is. Oh. I don't know, man. I'm just... I, I, I'm, I'm very scared to say this. Because it's an opinion. But... Like... In... In Devil Man. And I watched the recent one that was on Netflix. Right? Whew. No fall damage. I watched the reason when that was on Netflix, and I was just like, so, you justify slaying this lone girl, and these, the, they, they added more people to the body count, which is worse for me. I'm like, oh, but it's not the family anymore. Yeah, but you still added people I liked to the body count, my dude. You know. But they're like, oh, kill them. They they know Devil Man. That means they're all devils, really. Like, that level of paranoia doesn't serve anyone. A witch hunt only results in everyone getting burned in the end. So I check if any of these were readable. This will see it. Two derp. I need a canoe. Must be near the tour. At least I think it is. But yeah, it just it, it just always tends to bother me whenever they do the witch hunting stuff in in any form of like media. Like you can still write a compelling story without you know doing that. And as I've been exploring with characters I've made myself, you can do perfectly fine tragedies that don't involve the removal of of one's family members. You know, I mean, yes, it could bring them small comfort if they're strong of will, but if they are not strong of will, or even worse, if they are not mentally fit to, or, or equipped to handle the loss, then it will affect them worse. Oh, they, they want me to head to the Emerald Coast. That's a whoops. That's a whoops on me. But I mean, that's part of the reason why I record this, because it's jails that I, you know. We're, 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 we make the mistakes together. Because none of you told me that to go there. I should have looked, yes, but. Well, we can all sit here playing the blame game, but who's that going to serve? Oh, it makes you feel better? Oh, okay then. Oh, I missed the house before leaving. Which means I missed dialogue. And potential items. I'm gonna break barrels to help me feel better. Run, Sharon. Run away from your feelings. Don't let them catch you. Don't let them catch you. Jump. Run. Jump. Run. But yeah, getting back on topic right quick. Uh, and I feel like I could share this with you. Maybe someone hit down here. No. That'd be... 
honestly how you get another party member. But yeah, here, here's my thought. Oh. Excuse me. But yeah, here, here's my whole thing, right? For myself, at least. I like writing my characters with tragic backstories. You know. I like them having a reason to do things that isn't just simply because we're the hero. You know. And, or, or because, you know, we're the main character, we have to do this thing. You know. If they join up with a mercenary band, I want them to join up with a mercenary band because they were forced into it. They had to, you know, something along the lines of they they decided this after thinking about it, after consulting themselves and their thoughts. You know, I don't want it to be they joined just because. Ooh, what a good horse! Using your good psychic horse powers to break that. What's up, horse? Beep 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 beep. beep. Don't get me wrong, that cheese and wine was tempting. Very tempting. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta sneeze. I muted the mic in time. Oh, thank god. There's an item beneath the tree! Mine. Run over these adorable guys. I can't. I could. Alright, so we're gonna go strutting now. Sorry, I thought there was a shiny there. But, legitimately. Oh, hello, cow. Thank you, my bullvine friends. And it's fully installed now. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing much fighting. Except for these guys. These guys are new. We're gonna run over one. And then fight the other. Ooh, I'm pepped up! The Ego Skeleton. Didn't even stand a chance. Good old Ziz to take him out. Oh, Eric's turn. Well, we're gonna use the pet powers for a little bit now. Gonna hold on to them, huh. not gonna use the pet Easy. power right away. Yeah, because we gotta use the pet power on these guys. Hmm. I'll attack you. I'll go for you first. Hey, we find them both. These guys are fast. Calamari Kid and Krabbit. Single enemy. Unfortunately, we're gonna go for the. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go for the torch first. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I love Fried Calamari. What? That was dope! Man, I'm, I'm gonna share... Oh. I'm gonna share the, uh... Well, after I talk to the fisherman, I'm gonna share if you one of my characters. Uh, at least at one of their backgrounds. Talk to this fisherman, I meant I would go into his house. 
big barrels with pots, jar of jam, nothing to break. Oh, here's something to break. Can't read his diary, which has all his feelings. Can't grab them spices. Very nice stove. Can't go in the water. What do you have to say, Mr. Fishman? Oh, hi there! We don't get too many visitors around these parts. Got some King Barrel on waiter. Uh, no. Ho oh, oh, ho, pull another one, Pull the other one, Sonny. Cause you're, you're here to see it. Why else would you drag your idle way out here? You'll find it off to the west there. Can't miss it. Uh, what? I'm just happy to discover that there is a spot? Oh, King's Bar. Oh, okay, so I see where I gotta go now. This might get interesting real quick. But yeah, I did a little bit of grinding so you guys wouldn't have to worry about seeing it. Oh, he was asking if I come to see King's Borrow. I get it now. Alright, so... He must be referring to the Red Orb. Huh? The top one there has seen better days, that's for sure. That's true, Eric, but... My dearest, darling baby boy. When finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. Stop! You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms, and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escape to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the king of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Oh, oh, okay, we're doing this now, huh? Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. Oh, mom. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? Oh, Eric, 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 Eric. Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you guys the character background after this. To my dearest grandson. No. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the king when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. 
I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Cornelian thinks so badly of you. I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. All the best, now and forever. Grandad. Thanks, Eric. I, I, I really do mean that. So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah, I still go to Gainsborough, Eric. Oh, I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. The King's Barrow's not too far from here. It's just down the way, in fact. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. It's a time like this I'm really actually glad to have Eric, because, like, that was actually a very deep and touching moment. Okay, ho horse can't get up there, so. And I seem to be struggling just to touch myself. Little jug of jug of fresh water. Search, search, searching for stuff. I know they are probably keeping a few of the villagers alive. You know, like they made it out in time. So let's be honest, with Sandy, anyone can survive. And Sandy would have wouldn't have gotten out without a fight. We would have seen a few soldier bodies right there. Friggin' blood splatter everywhere. Say, so be like, let you try to take my home. Bet. Give me that throat. So Sandy would have done. But yeah, um. Brief explanation of the character. I was still able to make this guy tragic without taking away his stamina. Right? And, in short, it was just, his family, like, was there as, as more of a framing device, to keep him, like, sort of grounded, you know. And if something had happened to them, then honestly, he would've just been evil. And that was my whole thinking. You know, why, why make it so my character doesn't have his family, when instead, I could just as easily have him have his family, make them part of his story still, and still have things be tragic. You know. And no, his condition is not life-threatening either, it's just... sad things happen to him. It's not necessarily the loss of a loved one, it's just sad things happen. You know. But yeah, just, just my two cents on the matter, at least. I don't want to go into detail because I don't want you searching out said characters or such, you know. <gasps> Sandy's been here. What the heck happened here? Who did this to them? Eric. Free loot. Huh? Start getting start looting these bodies, Eric! Oh, there's a bigger orb there. But this will have to wait for the next episode while the game auto saves. And anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video, sub, or subscribe to the channel for some more content. Do be sure to, let, to show this video to a friend or two if you really enjoyed it. And until the next one, big thank you all for watching. I just want to say, laters.